Hey guys, welcome to the evening routine. I'm going to make this video much shorter from the morning routine as ultimately we are just building on what we have accomplished in the morning routine. So here you have an opportunity to reflect on your day and end your day on a nice positive note. So starting with blue blockers. So if you have any blue blockers, throw those on. If you don't have any blue blockers, download the application FFlux on your computer and your phone and try and turn that on one hour before bed. Okay, next we're going to be shutting off your electronics and this includes your email. So ideally we're not responding to any emails or even texting, definitely not on social media one hour before bed. This is really important. Guys, I know you all probably work very stressful, um, high fast-paced jobs and what we want to do here is give yourself an opportunity to have just one hour for yourself in the evening. That's not that much to ask and you're worth it. This is your chance to um, reflect on the day and end on a positive note. Um, so next we're going to make your evening tea. Um, as we've, we've gotten some questions in the Facebook group, guys this does not impact your fast so you can have that tea once you've finished um, eating for the day. Next we have your daily recap. So we're reflecting on your goals from the morning and what we're doing here is we're getting a definitive yes or no. Did I accomplish my goals or did I not accomplish my goals? I want you guys to be as honest with yourself as you can here. The more honest you are, the more opportunity for improvement you have tomorrow. So you've set that short list of goals. Tell yourself have I accomplished them or have I not? And if you have not, decide how you're going to do it next time. Maybe your goal was set too high. Uh, maybe you have too high standards. That's fine. Just try and make sure that you're accomplishing these goals on a daily basis, as I mentioned in the morning, to build up that trust in yourself and to build that uh, motivation and to continually accomplish your goals each day is just a nice way to build discipline and trust in yourself. Okay, so next we have visualization. So here's our opportunity to both reflect on the day and to think about how we want to feel tomorrow. So we're, uh, first of all, when we're reflecting on the day, we're seeing were my actions in line with the vision that I created for myself? Uh, yes or no? Again, try and be definitive and honest here. If not, that's okay, but just keep focusing and building on that visualization that you have for yourself and write down, maybe even just journal a little bit. If you're not living um, your actions in line with your visions, try and figure out how you can make that happen. Um, okay, and then as I said, we are also visualizing on how we want to feel tomorrow. So we want to finish on a nice positive note. We want to... Um, Think about how we want to feel tomorrow, how we want to interact with other people, how we're going to be acting um, at work, what kind of communication we're going to have with other people, all of that sort of stuff. Okay, and then finally, we have your sleep. So we want to try and get seven to eight hours. I know a lot of people uh, working high intensity jobs um, are probably a little bit lower on sleep. See if you can at least give yourself this one week. Just give yourself the opportunity to get seven to eight hours of sleep. You're going to thank yourself for it, and you're going to feel so much better tomorrow. You're going to be able to accomplish all your tasks so much more easily with such greater focus. So that's it for the evening routine, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we will see you tomorrow for day four.